Six, Crater 96. Back in May, when we started our Sunset on the Beach series, we had a promise wall in the back um, where you could enter tokens. It was a vote for your favorite charity. charity. So the votes are in, but I'd like you to take a look at the screen before we tell you who the winners are. <coughs> Chamber of Commerce truly enjoys the long-term relationship we've had with Southwest Airlines. What I love most about Southwest Airlines is the people. Our partnership is very, um, almost on, not a business level, but a, like a friendship level. They are truly uh, an ambassador of what we call the Aloha Spirit. It's business philosophy of caring about people and doing the best you can. That's a lot of what the Aloha Spirit is about. We want to be a great citizen and a good neighbor. And that means that we get involved in the program programs that are important to the people who live in the communities that we serve. It's not just saying the words, but actually doing it. It has really allowed us to expand our outreach. Our purpose is to connect our customers to what's important in their lives with friendly, reliable, and low-cost air transportation. Their ability to bring community together has been a true lesson for our business partners, so we thank Southwest Airlines. Yes, very nice. With Southwest Airlines Community Outreach Team, please welcome to the stage Kelly Knox. Aloha! Thank you so much for being with us tonight. My name is Kelly. I'm on the Community Outreach Team here at Southwest Airlines. And we have had the most fun getting to know you over the course of the summer. Thank you for spending your evenings with us. Um, my role at Southwest is to champion causes that mean the most to the community and so I get to learn what matters the most to you and then find great organizations who live out that mission and values to make our communities a better place. So like they mentioned we had a Southwest promise wall and as we begun service here back in March we wanted to make sure that you knew that we were dedicated to being not just another option for airline travel but your neighbors and your partners in the community and so that was our promise to you and we'll continue to live out that promise as we serve the islands so on behalf of southwest thank you so much for voting for all of these wonderful organizations all of them will be receiving at least a two thousand dollar donation and our winner drum roll was maui ocean center marine institute and they'll be receiving five thousand dollars so all of the great organizations are represented on stage tonight and i just want to give them a couple minutes to talk about their organization their missions their programs and how you can continue supporting them after this evening thank you kelly hello everyone how are you doing there good uh, my name is Stefani Wari and I'm the president of uh, Maui Ocean Center Marine Institute. Uh, we are a 501c3 uh, corporation and on behalf of Maui Ocean Center Marine Institute, I thank uh, Southwest Airlines and the community members who voted uh, for us to be awarded the uh, $5,000 grant uh, with the Southwest Airlines uh, Promise Wall Initiative. Thank you uh, very much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I come from Maui, so I brought some uh, gifts with me. I have some MOCMI t-shirts and I have some uh, rescue turtles with me. Kelly, if you don't mind, give me a hand and uh, we'll toss some of them out there for Yeah, get, get them all out, please. Yeah, get all the turtles out there. Kids, come on over. As you can tell by now, we rescue turtles from Maui. So, MOCMI is a nonprofit organization, and uh, we were incorporated uh, back in April in 2016. And uh, we were founded on three four uh, pillars. Number one, preservation of rare and endemic Hawaiian coral. Number two, rescue, rehabilitation, and release of threatened and emerged endangered Hawaiian sea turtles. And number three, to provide educational opportunities at all levels to inspire our community to take action. As part of our of coral reef preservation efforts with the state of Hawaii, 
MOCMI maintains a repository for rare and endemic Hawaiian corals, providing a safe haven where they can be grown and propagated and eventually transplanted back into the ocean as part of the re restoration efforts. Many of you may know, but we are losing our coral reef, so this work is really, really important. Uh, MOCMI's uh, Sea Turtle Stranding Response and Rescue Program is in collaboration with NOAA, and uh, it responds to reports and uh, rescues sick, injured, or distressed sea turtles across the island of Maui. Using the ocean as a classroom, MOCMI's educational efforts range from uh, teaching a preschooler to love and appreciate the marine environment, to contributing a student's uh, pursuit of career in the marine sciences through formal internships. Uh, uh, we, we do offer regular internships. If you ever come to Maui, uh, come and see us. <coughs> MOCMI's diverse team of marine scientists, educators, volunteers, and donors are committed to the conservation of Hawaii's uh, fragile marine ecosystems. And together, we can make this difference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for your support for Hawaii's mar uh, marine life and for more information and if you wish to donate to help MOC in our efforts, please visit mocmarineinstitute.org. Thank you very much. Aloha. Hi there, it's Cynthia with Surf Rider Kauai. How many of you all have been to Kauai? Yeah, oh good, oh good. Yeah, so in Surf Rider, our two big efforts on Kauai is clean the beaches from marine debris and also to uh, keep the water clean by testing it for bacteria. And we get a lot of marine debris that comes out of the gyres. Uh, so we have to clean the beaches a lot on the windward side. Uh, Hawaii and Hawaii, both on the windward side, get, because of the way the currents go, we get a lot of marine debris. Like, I mean, uh, 10,000 pounds a month come in, like five tons a month come in to our beaches and we clean it up. So, you can fly now, on, like in a month from now, you can fly on Southwest and come over to Kauai and we have a fun time cleaning up the beaches. We'll take you back country to some, we have some gorgeous beaches over there and you can come help us. Uh, the other thing you can do from wherever you are, all of us could use less plastic because there's a lot of plastic in the ocean. So single use plastic, just uh, avoid it. So. Thank you to Southwest and enjoy the show tonight. Aloha, good evening. And thank you, Kelly, and to their, her amazing team for this event. What a nice thing to do as you come into, fly into our community. I am representing, from the Big Island, the Natural Energy Lab. And if you or anybody you know are interested in a science, technology, engineering, math, and we actually add an A, the arts. So we have 50 people on our campus, and our my organization is the Friends, and we interact with the public. So if you want to know how you can be an, a scientist, an engineer, a mathematician, and have fun while you're doing it, come over to our place. We see our scientists walking around in board shorts and flip-flops trying to figure out how to make our island more sustainable, to use our aquaculture, and keep our cultural history alive. Thank you so much. Thank you, Southwest, for the money. <laughs> we will put it to good use. And for anybody who wants to, please come visit. We love to have you and show you around and show you what our island can be going into the future on solar and seawater. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, hi, my name is Robin Erb. I'm here tonight on behalf of Hisco, uh, the Hawaii Youth Surfing Development Organization. And Hisco's mission is to create greater opportunities for Hawaii youth in and out of the water. Um, Hawaii being the birthplace of surfing, you know, it's something that we're lucky enough to get to do every day, pretty much. Um, celebrate, be proud of it, 
and so at Histo, we really believe in the power of surfing to build careers, uh, strengthen communities, and inspire kids and help show them that um, there's more ways to have a career in surfing than just being a competitive surfer. Um, some of the work we do, uh, we do a career, uh, excuse me, we do a year-round career mentorship program uh, in partnership with the World Surf League's Hawaii office. And we work with Farrington High School right here in Kalihi on Oahu. Go Governor! Yeah. <laughs> um, so we work with the Farrington students and faculty, um, and we want to show those kids and introduce them and, and inspire them, get excited about all the careers and jobs in and around surfing. Uh, you know, we watch the surf events on TV and online, and we see John John Florence, uh, we see Carissa Moore, who just won in France. Um, we see all these great athletes, and we see them, and sometimes what we don't see are all the amazing people behind the scenes, the workers um, coming together to bring the events to life. Everybody from event producers, um, sound guys, light guys, um, marketing, PR, um, and people that do the broadcast that stream live around the world. Uh, his, exactly. <laughs> Histo, we also work with the athletes here in Hawaii, the local up-and-comers. We try to give them the skills that um, will help round out their surfing careers. Um, we've hosted free workshops for athletes, families, and coaches to come and learn more about um, sports psychology, being mentally prepared to compete, uh, how to stay healthy, prevent injury, um, and how to be a better interviewer um, and be on TV and in the media. So that's a little bit about what Histo does. Uh, we're really honored to be a part of this special group. Thank you so much for, for letting, uh, letting us share what Histo does with you. Thank you, Kelly, and everybody at Southwest for the generous donation and support. Um, and I think everybody up on this stage shares a commitment to community in Hawaii. So thank you. I'm with Hawaiian Islands Land Trust, and we are your islands-wide land trust, protecting the places that sustain and nourish all of us. I think we're all here tonight because we all love Hawaii, and all of these amazing people behind me, I think we're all different little pieces of a bigger puzzle. Um, and I just thank all of you so much for supporting all of these great groups. Um, Hawaiian Islands Land Trust definitely appreciates your support. Um, I want to mahalo our great sponsor, Southwest Airlines, and also Hawaii Tourism, mahalo for this beautiful evening. Um, and I just encourage all of us to dig our toes into the sand and feel the wind and really connect to place. And that is really the mission of Hawaiian Islands Land Trust, so mahalo nui. Aloha. I'm Natalie McKinney. I'm the executive director of Kokua Hawaii Foundation. Uh, we were founded in 2003 by local singer-songwriter Jack Johnson and his wife Kim, and we support environmental education in Hawaii schools and communities. Could I hear all of the folks in the audience who go to school here in Hawaii? Fantastic. We have five main programs at Kokua Hawaii Foundation. We give grants to schools to help get them to outdoor destinations, including the Maui Ocean Center, who is our grant recipient this evening, as well as we have grants that help schools participate or it starts some sustainability initiatives on their school campuses. We also have two waste reduction programs. One is the three R's, school recycling program, and the other is a program called Plastic Free Hawaii, where we work with uh, organizations like Surf Rider Kauai. Please keep your eye open for Bill 40 at the City Council. We're looking to eliminate single-use plastics this legislative session. And finally, the crown jewel at Kokua Hawaii Foundation is our Aina in Schools program, which is a farm to school initiative. We, we, we work with schools like Waikiki Elementary, YLI Elementary, Jefferson Elementary, Alawai Elementary, Kahala Elementary, and we grow school gardens and health and wellness on school campuses. If you're interested in supporting Kokua Hawaii Foundation, 
come and be a volunteer and work with our amazing schools in this amazing state. We thank uh, Southwest Airlines for their amazing contribution to not only Kokua Hawaii Foundation, but to all of the organizations who work tirelessly on a daily effort uh, to protect and preserve this amazing place that we call home. Have a wonderful evening. We're gonna take a quick group picture on stage. Let me get out of the way here. Come forward, guys. We'll get you guys in that shot. One more big round of applause for the community outreach program from Southwest Airlines. All right, well done, all of you. Thank you so much. Wow, we've reached just about the end of our formal program. You know, it's been six months. We started this back in May, and over that time, we have gathered thousands of people over here and had concerts, hours and hours of wonderful Hawaiian language artists, contemporary artists, reggae artists. It was just such an array of wonderful, top-notch Hawaiian entertainment the whole time. Um, this is our last night for the Sunset on the Beach series for now, hopefully, but we hope you have enjoyed them. I know I've enjoyed each and every one of these. Um, before I sign off, I do have to send out a big mahalo uh, to our very own Hawaii Tourism, uh, who have played a, a, a huge part in bringing Sunset on the Beach back to Waikiki after a nine-year hiatus. So please, one more round of applause. Show them some love. Until we meet again, ahui ho and aloha! Southwest is now flying between the islands of Hawaii, and we couldn't be more excited. We know what an honor that is. And Hawaii, we're going to show you just how excited we are to be here by bringing our heart to Hawaii. And what does our heart mean to you? It means we give you what you need. A great flight with two free bags and nothing that you don't, like hidden fees. Hawaii, we will show you how our heart and hospitality matches yours. How we put you first, no matter what. And how everything we do as an airline is done with you in mind. We plan on being the best guests you've ever had. Which is why we brought low fares and two free check bags to you, Hawaii. But we didn't pack a single fee to change your flight. We couldn't be more excited to be flying between the Hawaiian islands. And making flying affordable, friendly, and fun is how we say thanks for having us.